Kind of where we go from here. Uh, guys, after what we saw Saturday, we didn't quite know what to expect on Sunday. Tigers struggled early, but settled into that final round nicely, which was so good to see. Doug, give us your overall thoughts on what you saw from Tiger on Sunday. Well, uh, first off, Jeremy, let's celebrate making the cut 24 years in a row. That was a remarkable achievement, especially from what we've seen this weekend, because as we discussed yesterday, uh, lack of tournament play, lack of preparatory time coming into the tournament, obviously he's fatigued and a tough course setup. I mean, all these things combined led to what we saw over the weekend. The greatest player in the modern era uh, struggled mightily. Uh, it was great to see him Sunday early with son Charlie, who flew in from South Florida to be with him on the range. It was kind of getting dad set up. Uh, that was kind of fun to watch. Uh, but obviously the game has gone away from the great Tiger Woods. Uh, obviously physical limitations have led to that. So I don't know where we go from here. I think we need to celebrate the fact that he played all four days. He got a standing ovation every hole today, which which was fantastic. The Patriots, full force, every hole. Uh, they loved what they saw. Uh, I just hate to see uh, Tiger playing at this level. Uh, but again, it, it, it is what it is, is the old cliche. Uh, he's not going to get any better, and I'm not sure when we'll see him again on the golf course. It's time to go home and reassess where he is right now physically. Yeah, that, that's a good point, Doug. And you look at Tiger Woods playing 72 holes, that, that alone is really an accomplishment. This is the first time in a major championship he's done that since the 2022 or 2020 Masters in November. Yeah, that seems like a lifetime ago, but we just haven't been able to see Tiger Woods play Sunday in a major championship environment. So we do have to celebrate that from that perspective. But yeah, as for what is next, you would assume it's Valhalla in the PGA Championship next month in May. He said at the beginning of the week, the one month cadence that he had hoped for this past winter is going to kick off now. But PGA Championship, the driving test that that has turned into, obviously not a great, great course fit somewhere like Pinehurst number two in June for the U.S. Open, which he'll have to receive a special exemption from the USGA to get into, uh, would probably be a, a better fit. And maybe he rests for that. I, I'm, I'm not too sure. But this is just the new norm when it comes to Tiger Woods, his last four weekend rounds at the Masters, 78, 78, 82, 77. And that's the golf course where he's made his hay throughout his career. So it's uh, obviously a disappointing finish to what was a record setting week with that cut streak that Doug mentioned. Yeah, this is only his sixth start in 26, six time in 26 starts that he has finished uh, with a subpar round at the Masters. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, after Saturday, many thought we'd get breaking news about Tiger from the Masters, uh, perhaps a withdrawal, but he said that he would be out there and he was. Patrick, forget the score. I want to go back to this. Just how important is it for Tiger himself just to finish this tournament? Boy, well, he's the ultimate competitor. Right, Tiger Woods has those mini goals that he's going to want to check off in, in the back of his mind. Coming into the week, I think the 24 consecutive cut streak was huge for him just to get up, and especially on day two where he had to play 23 holes in one day, and he came into the week only having played 24 holes all season. Uh, but to finish the tournament, I, th I think it's a, a really big thing for Tiger Woods because, like I said, we haven't seen him do it in a major championship in quite a long time. He had a withdraw from the 2022 PGA Championship after the third round with an injury. He withdrew last year uh, during the third round with an injury. So it's a step in the right direction. Yes, Augusta National is a very, very difficult golf course to walk. Like I said, somewhere like Pinehurst number two is a bit more flat, which will definitely help him physically. Uh, so he can take the positive out of that. But game-wise, it's, uh, it's probably a little tough, tough pill to swallow at the moment. Yeah, guys, I'm not sure we'll see him again in 2024 on the golf course. Uh, again, he goes back to Jupiter now with his team and reassesses. Uh, he's got a lot of business things going right now with Rory McIlroy and others, and that'll come to light uh, as we get deeper into the summer. Uh, but, but here's the deal. Uh, he said earlier in the week that Seth Waugh, uh, the head of the PGA, has already asked him to be the Ryder Cup captain at Bethpage. And Tiger said, we'll discuss that after we get done with the Masters. And I do think he'll show up at Valhalla, and I do think that announcement will take place where he'll be the next Ryder Cup captain at Beth Page, which will be which will be crazy in New York. Uh, at least that's what I'm hearing. Uh, whether he plays at Valhalla, a place where he has won a PGA championship, that remains to be seen. Uh, again, it's a different animal now with the PGA, the U.S. Open. You're talking about some serious tests with serious rough. 
I'm not sure uh, his body will hold up under those conditions. Uh, we won't see him at the Open again. I think he said goodbye at St. Andrews. So I, I think what we're looking at is the greatest champion of the modern era. Uh, we consider Jack the greatest champion of the other era. Uh, but I, I think uh, we'll see him in limited times. Maybe the Genesis Invitational, his tournament that benefits the Tiger Woods Foundation. And I think he'll continue playing the Masters. And that might be it until he turns 50. And then maybe he'll sprinkle in a few extra tournaments uh, on the senior circuit. Just the fifth time in 11 major appearances uh, that Tiger Woods has managed to finish uh, four rounds of play. Uh, Doug, you've been watching Tiger for a very long time. We all have. I mean, yeah. what we saw this weekend was something we'd never seen before in his master's history. And when we thought we knew everything that there was to know about Tiger, he showed us something more. What did you learn about Tiger Woods this weekend? Well, uh, Jeremy, yesterday you and I were on and you, you posed the question, do you think he'll play the final round? And it was an emphatic yes. I mean, there was no question after he made the cut streak at 24, uh, he was going to play Saturday and Sunday regardless. I mean, he, if he drug his ankle around, uh, which he did a little bit at the end, he was going to finish. And the fact that Charlie flew in uh, to watch his dad play. I mean, this, this is a meaningful week for him, uh, Jeremy. And I think what I learned is, and, and I always knew it, uh, how much he loved the game of golf. But, but he is, as he said in his press conference earlier this week, uh, golf has brought him obviously great riches but great joy and he is the epitome of a golfer there's no quit in this guy I, I just feel that physical limitations is now going to keep him from playing many many more times I, I think that's why we need to cherish this week Jeremy we saw him four days and let's cherish every moment we saw him every standing ovation uh, pretty special yeah, it was, Doug, and I think I learned that Tiger Woods, even at 48, even with a injury history, as long as a CVS receipt, he's still the needle. You see the TV ratings coming out. You see the galleries, the patrons greeting him with those st standing ovations on every hole. I mean, there's no one else like him in the game. You know, there's no John Rahm uh, drawing those crowds. There's no Rory McIlroy drawing those crowds, despite what great champions there are. Tiger Woods is just in a class of his own, and I think this week was a really good reminder of that uh, for some golf fans that uh, don't get to see him very often and it's just great to see and uh, hopefully I know Doug Doug doesn't think he's going to play again this year I'm hoping we get at least one more major championship appearance out of Tiger yeah you saw those three majors there coming up on the calendar Patrick McDonald Doug Bell helping us wrap up Tiger Woods final round here at the Masters for the 2024 edition finishing 16 over par in 60th place as the leaders get set to hit the course. Well, certainly they'll be talking about what could be next for Tiger Woods on the First Cut podcast. You can download and follow wherever you get your podcast audio or scan that QR code to listen to the latest episode right now.